Hello there. I just want to add my two cents into the recent train train strikes that are being that are being planned in Britain. Go for it, guys. And the most painful thing for me is everybody keeps saying, "Oh, but the problems the public will have, the problems that uh, people will have who are already on low on on low wages and will struggle to get into work." And you think, yes, that is exactly the point. If the ruling classes don't listen, you have to unfortunately make the people who elect them uncomfortable. And exactly the same with, with, with the company. The company is beholden to its shareholders and to its customers, but apparently not at all to its employees or their well-being. So those people have to make a decision. Who do you light the fire under? Because if you keep burning yourself, well, you're just going to get burnt out and the company will hire somebody else. You can't make it unpleasant for the company. They do not care. They are there to maximize profits. And if they are a bit uncomfortable, great then we should be a bit uncomfortable. That will incentivize us to make more profit. So you have to make it unpleasant for customers, where their actual money comes from, where their actual profits are, are, are derived from, and ultimately those who will complain. And the irony of these um, upper management saying, no, the workers are the ones putting you in a, in a horrible position. Well, yeah, that is your last bargaining chip. If you take everything else away from your workers, that's what unions have to do. And it's the completely the right thing to do. And we, as the public, should be saying, great, and I will send in my letter of complaint to the various trains authorities saying, I really wish you paid your workers better. If you paid your workers better, this wouldn't happen. So I'm not complaining about your workers. I'm complaining about your treatment of your workers and how that impacts all of us. And yeah, radically, radically dis uh, uh, dis disillusioning to see so much of the mainstream parlance be about the difficulty people are going to have getting to work and how dare they strike and uh, that these train workers, they've already been working through COVID, so they're essential, shouldn't they? No. That's great. You've, you've, you've just told the trade union, you guys have a real power. You are an essential business that we shouldn't undermine, that the British public needs and that we value. We don't value any of the workers working in it. We value the main business, the concept, but none of you individual workers that make it work. No, 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 none of you, none of you. You feel, you feel the ridiculousness of it. You know they're key workers, and they are asking for a very reasonable, a reasonable increase, uh, increase in salary. They are not asking to be, to have golden crowns each and to be uh, and then to be welcomed with a red with a red carpet onto the train every time they arrive to work. No, they do a really awful hard job, like most jobs are. And they just want the, uh, something, something reasonable after they have worked and supported us all throughout COVID, being constantly around people who had to be on trains to mast up. No, no, no. Just, just, just go away with your problems. Keep working. You're an essential worker. Isn't that vocational title enough for you? It's the same with teachers. It's the same with many, uh, many other things in Britain. But that's my two cents. Um, yeah, thanks Novara Media for making, for making an exciting video on it today. All the best.